While campaigning for New Hampshire Senate hopeful Don Bolduc, who of course is a far right Republican and also an election denier, Tulsi Gabbard decided to compare Joe Biden, who she actually endorsed herself in 2020, to Adolf Hitler, because why not? I mean, zero to fasci real quick, it's amazing. Now, speaking at a Bolduc town hall event in a town outside Manchester on Sunday, Tulsi stipulated that she's pretty sure both Biden and Hitler share a mindset of good intentions to justify authoritarian behavior, according to audio that was obtained by the Daily Beast. So what does she say exactly? She says this, and this is something that is, you know, throughout history, we look at authoritarian leaders and dictators in other countries. Gabbard said in a tangent about Biden's Philadelphia speech from September on anti-democratic extremism among Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. She continued to say, quote, I'm pretty sure they all believe they're doing what's best. Even Hitler thought he was doing what was best for Germany, right? For the German race in his own mind, he found a way to justify the means to meet his end. So when we have people with that mindset, well, you know, we've got to do whatever it takes because as President Biden said in that speech in Philadelphia, that those who support Trump, those who didn't vote for him are extremists and a threat to our democracy. Now, of course, Gabbard didn't weigh in on Donald Trump telling uh, Jewish Americans that they're bad people if they don't support him because of his policies in Israel or toward Israel. I mean, no, no attention paid to that. But you know, the viciousness toward Biden for honestly stating the obvious, everyone sees it. Everyone sees the divisive anti-democratic nature of some portion of his supporters, of Trump supporters. We saw it on January 6th. And it's amazing that she's making these comparisons when again, she herself had endorsed not Bernie Sanders, who was still in the race, but Joe Biden as the Democratic nominee for president in 2020. Yeah, so um, look, uh, first of all, she's now uh, endorsing and actively campaigning for the worst of the worst. Carrie Lake, Don Bolduc, uh, Blake Masters. Blake Masters has said at different times that uh, he's interested in a monarchy, that's a dictatorship. Carrie Lake is the biggest uh, ass kisser of Donald Trump in the world, unsupported, unwaveringly, uh, unquestioningly supporting Donald Trump, vacuuming his carpet literally before he arrives. It's just unbelievable. Bolduc's a total maniac, lunatic uh, conspiracy theories on COVID, the election, etc. And she's supporting the most radical, insane right wingers in the country. And then comparing Biden to Hitler. So I'm gonna break that one down a little bit. So Biden does that Philly speech, which I, uh, the Republicans went nuts over, right? Oh my God, he dared to criticize us. I mean, look at the gaslighting. Like, so, oh, Donald Trump has never criticized Democrats, has never said that the Democrats are wrong. He said the most outrageous, awful things about every Democrats. Uh, Latinos, criminals and rapists, Muslims should be banned from the country. Chinese caused this uh, coronavirus, we can go on and on and on. Calling uh, people by ridiculous made up uh, Asian names, the anti-Semitism. Uh, oh, the squad comes from asshole countries, uh, we can go on. And then they feign outrage, Oh my God, Joe Biden criticized Republicans. You know, in that speech, Biden said, uh, that um, MAGA Republicans are a minority, that the majority of Republicans are moderate and sensible people. That's just not even true. They're almost all MAGA Republicans. So to compare it to Hitler, because he dared to criticize the opposing party. But she's a fraud through and through. Look, one of our members wrote, and I love this, Travel Nurse Dragon said, I called my left-leaning brother in, in brother-in-law out of his defense of Tulsi Gabbard. Uh, I took about six months, but I got an apology this week. Look, guys, if you see someone still defending Tulsi Gabbard and pretending she's on the left, or that even way worse, if they actually think she's on the left, they're not, they're not right-wing trolls pretending, but they actually believe it. You're talking to one of the most gullible people in the world, and they're, they're gonna, I mean, it's Joe Rogan. How do you not see that he's a fraud, that she's a total and utter fraud? In every way, so you were a Democrat and pretending to be a progressive like five minutes ago. And now all of a sudden you're supporting the most extreme right wingers in the country and saying that Biden should never criticize the beloved Republicans. 
Yep. And you and who would be stupid enough to think that she's still on the left? Who could be that unbelievably ignorant? Well, other than Joe. Well, the one thing I will say is how laughable it is when she claims I didn't leave the Democratic Party for the Republican Party. I'm an independent. <laughs> and she she keeps repeating that when it's like independents don't go out of their way to endorse the most extreme candidates on the right. Right, you could be an independent who sometimes supports some democratic candidates, sometimes some republican candidates. But to go from I'm a Bernie loving progressive allegedly, I thought that was BS the entire time, but nonetheless, that was what her attempt at branding herself was. To go from that to now all of a sudden, no no, Carrie Lake. Nailed it. Nailed it. Yeah. I'm definitely going to start stumping for her. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. And finally, it's amazing how she's able to lie to the American people with a straight face because as I re- as I recall, not only did she endorse Joe Biden, she did it in this like admiring way. And I remember progressives being furious with her because Bernie was still in the race and she was supposedly a, a progressive who aligned herself with Bernie Sanders. So here's a quick reminder of what that Joe Biden endorsement looked like. I know Vice President Biden and his wife, and I'm grateful to have called his son Bo a friend who also served in the National Guard. Although I may not agree with the Vice President on every issue, I know that he has a good heart and he's motivated by his love for our country and the American people. I'm confident that he will lead our country guided by the spirit of aloha, respect and compassion, and thus help heal the divisiveness that has been tearing our country apart. So today I'm suspending my presidential campaign and offering my full support to Vice President Joe Biden in his quest to bring our country together. I mean, how dare you align yourself with the good people of Hawaii? You know, no integrity with Tulsi Gabbard. I mean, just absolute, complete and utter liar. And now propagandist for the most extreme elements of the right wing. Yeah, so uh, look, anybody can have an organic change of mind. That happens all the time. In fact, it should happen. You should always have an open mind. For example, I changed my mind on the death penalty and that happened a long time ago. In fact, you guys saw it happen, right, in, in real time in a lot of ways. But to wholesale change all of your ideas overnight, over and over again, that's preposterous. She was establishment, then she went became progressive to support Bernie. Oh, Good, it looked like she had an organic change of heart, we're excited, right? Happens to some people, you welcome them in. But then she goes back to being establishment to try to get into Biden's cabinet. Wait, what? And then she becomes a Trumpy and tries to, in fact, after Trump had won, she did this a couple of times that and that's why Anna saw her inconsistencies and called her out years ago. And she took so much flack for that, no, how dare you? Tulsi Gabbard's the most progressive, they all said. And Anna's like, no, look at the inconsistencies. She was trying to get on to Trump's cabinet in 2016, 2017, right? And now she's back to being a Trumpy, overnight changing all of her positions, going from Biden is the spirit of aloha to Biden is Hitler. Come on, so if you see anyone defending Tulsi Gabbard, understand that they're a right winger or they're trying to help right wingers in a very nefarious way. Or they're the dumbest people on earth like Rogan. By the way, All right. nothing is, no hashtag has ever been more apt than hashtag Anna was right. I mean, Jesus, Lord mercy, you called it out, you got tons of flack, you were 100% right. Everybody that doubted it should come back and say, "Oh, that's man, organic change of heart. You were right, we were wrong." It turns out Tulsi is an utter fraud. If you can't see that, I feel really bad for you. Yeah, and all the people who have actually reached out to me after sending me some pretty vicious messages at the time when I was calling Tulsi out, just to apologize to me. I, I, by the way, water under the bridge. I have tremendous respect for people who see the light. And actually take the time to reach out and say, hey, sorry I said those things to you. A lot of wonderful people out there. 
Look, this is my job, right? Looking at congressional records, analyzing who these politicians really are and what really motivates them. That's my job. And so I can understand not wanting to hear something that challenges your preconceived notions or challenges your admiration for a particular political candidate. I get that knee jerk reaction. So I just wanna say for anyone who, who did reach out and apologize, I hear you, water under the bridge. Let's fight together for a better country because I think we can get there. Thanks for watching The Young Turks, I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.